Welcome to the video from thedishlifes.com. In this video we're going to do Windows 10 build to look at. This is build 20152 for Windows Insiders on the Fast Ring. Another RS pre-release build. Just a couple of builds up from last week's which was a big jump in build numbers. So this time we have no new features to talk about but we have got um, some fixes and some known issues. So let's dive straight into the changes. So one of the things they fixed with this is uh, Notepad was unexpectedly removed if you uh, reset your PC. Um, you can reinstall it via optional features in settings and they made Notepad an optional feature and I think part of that was that it was automatically removing it. Um, so they fixed that. They fixed an issue where Windows needs more space dialog um, if you were installing the build but the continue button was, wasn't displayed so um, if you had low space and one of the things you can do with Windows if you've got low space is use a temporary drive and storage drive something like that but that was not um, you weren't able to do that from from here because the button was dis wasn't displayed they fixed the issue with the Windows up the icon did not appear down here when you needed to reboot and they fixed an issue with a language issue the last issue were pretty small this issue this was pretty small these are a little bit bigger there's a quite a few of those they're fixing they're working on a fix for some issues with the hypervisor bug check they're fixing issues where notepad may not uh, open files correctly uh, after a, a reboot they fixed uh, they're fixing issues uh, with a bug check and a rollback uh, if you've got an Xbox controller connected so um, if you're doing the update and it fails, and you can actually go and check in your, in your uh, Windows update history, and if you get a uh, 0xc1900101 error, then you can um, make sure you unplug your Xbox controller, and uh, and it will fix that. Now, uh, an issue with the last build that some games may crash at launch, and they're working on fixing that. Um, they're fixing some dimming issues, some task manager issues and um, resetting the PC doesn't work you have to go to advanced startup and, uh, to restart the PC uh, I, uh, an issue that's not on the list that I personally found was uh, mixed reality wouldn't start up on this build on the previous build either and that's not in the release notes it could be my machine but I did reset the machine back to a non fast ring build and that worked fine so that's it I'm afraid, that's all the changes in this build, hopefully we'll get some more changes soon, some more new features coming soon. Uh, you can find all the builds on my uh, blog, on the digitallifestyle.com, on Twitter at iStixonR, our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.